news coming in and this isn't great news it's some amount of trouble that uh, we are reporting on right now it's trouble for isro during the ps lvc 62 launch the mission encounters an anomaly we are hearing this is that stage three it lifted off okay it success lifted off successfully but uh, encountered an a problem an anomaly during the end of the ps3 stage a detailed analysis has been initiated pramod has got more details uh, pramod what happened here you know uh, it did lift off successfully didn't it uh, they have like multiple uh... Uh, issues we can see actually when it comes to a rocket. And the very important aspect is that, like, we need I mean, to make sure that there is actually zero uh, any kind of uh, you know issues on it. Uh, and what we could see right now is that it's a multi-stage rocket where we have both a liquid uh, solid boosters and liquid boosters and also a cryogenic engine. And it looks like at the third stage there has been some kind of issue during the end of burning. Normally, what happens is that the rocket needs to actually cover a certain amount of altitude post which uh, so the boosters will be released L200 and then the liquid uh, stage ignites and then it actually covers a certain space post which we go for the Vikas cryogenic engine C25 and that actually boosts and takes it to a certain region. After which we have the actual uh, fairing that covers uh, the shields that cover the satellite on it only then it will be released. So it looks like for now Isra has said that in one such particular stage, the third stage, there was an issue during the end of burning. Isra has not uh, clearly stated what exactly happened. It wasn't uh, like, you know, the, the engines shut down before the required amount of altitude was uh, uh, attained or was it after or so. So we are waiting for that kind of information to be uh, uh, given to us. But for now, we've been told that at the third stage, end of burning, there was an issue due to which the mission has been now considered as a failure, uh, as Neha. It is disappointing news, isn't it, Ramod? Uh, some sort of a technical problem, I understand. Of course, we're waiting for more details. Have you heard anything just yet? Uh, you know, from the authorities and what really happened here at stage three. Of course, these are missions that everyone waits uh, for very eagerly, isn't it? This was a uh, Anvesha mission essentially uh, to to do just so much of study from space on uh, on climate change, on uh, on on crops, uh, and also extremely important from the point of view of national security. Promote at the end of the day. It surely is, Neha. And yes. uh, we will definitely find out what is the reason behind what exactly has happened and Israel has uh, uh, backup plans and such. So it's like uh, the mission might have unfortunately failed on a third stage. But like, you know, more data will be acquired and uh, uh, we will definitely like work on this particular uh, what exactly were issued and such. But the aspect is that like now we need to exactly find out what led to the cost because PSLV is a trusted uh, uh, launch vehicle of uh, Israel. So that will be definitely calculated upon. And uh, one thing I can certainly say is that by now, ISRO would have stacked upon next PSLV mission as well. So definitely, they would go ahead and launch another uh, mission or so because EVO is uh, N1, that uh, artificial satellite is also very important as well. So that will be definitely done, Sneha. But unfortunately, this is a, this is a different set setback which ISRO will definitely look into, Sneha. It did roar into space. The liftoff uh, was just perfect, wasn't it, a few moments ago? But explain to our viewers what does this really mean as far as Anvesha satellite is concerned there's been some sort of a disturbance but what does it really do to Anvesha in that sense it's a flight deviation I understand right uh, we will go back to Pramod Madhav in a moment from now but we have some sketchy details as of now we are waiting to hear formally from ISRO as well there are 16 satellites possibly at risk is what reports indicate this is disturbance and anomaly that was seen at the PS3 phase which caused uh, some bit of a flight deviation there. 16 satellites, I understand, are possibly at risk. Well, ISRO did begin the 2026 launch calendar with a successful liftoff, but it really hasn't gone according to the plan. It's extremely, um, in fact, uh, troubling to hear that PS3 phase has seen some amount of disturbance and analysis is on the way. We hear that a disturbance was observed in the launch vehicle towards the end of the PS3 burn during the PSLV C-62 mission. Uh, the deviation in the flight path was detected. Then more disturbance was observed in the launch vehicle is what we are learning. What does this do to Anvesha in that sense? Uh, and uh, does it disrupt the entire mission? We are going to be hearing from ISRO for more 
on that. But there has been some amount of disturbance in that sense that everything really hasn't gone according to how it was planned. Trouble for restore during the PSLV C62 launch. I'm going to go across to Shibu for more details on that story. Uh, please tell us what does this mean as far as the placement of Anvesha is concerned? Is all lost? I understand 16 satellites are possibly at risk. Just, you know, put this into perspective as far as Anvesha is concerned. Uh, so this mission was yes. supposed to be really important, not just for ISRO, but India as a whole. Uh, DRDO, which has developed the Anvesha satellite, which is an Earth observation satellite, was supposed to be deployed. At the moment, we do not know uh, that has it been deployed or not. There has been no confirmation from uh, ISRO or the ISRO chief at the moment about deployment or the status of the satellite. Uh, we are assuming that the satellite has been lost in space. Uh, and it's not just Anvesha which has been lost. There are about 16, uh, 15 other satellites uh, from multiple countries, including United Kingdom, Nepal, uh, Brazil. Brazil had launched, in fact, four uh, small satellites on this mission. Uh, there were multiple satellites from Indian startups, including Dhruva Space, uh, uh, Orbit Aid, which was supposed to de uh, uh, demonstrate orbital refueling. Uh, so key missions uh, likely have been lost and uh, what's really is concerning is that this is not the first launch of PSLV. Last year when PSLV C61 launched in May 2025, that was also lost in space due to some technical issues uh, on one of the stages after uh, liftoff. Uh, the ISRO had assured that uh, all those issues had been fixed. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the failure analysis committee report, uh, the fa failure analysis committee which was set up, that report has not been published as of now. Uh, we do not know what were the findings of it, what were the recommendations of it, and what were the fixes that, we, uh, that were put into PSLV. Uh, so this launch further raises concerns about what really happened. I'm just uh, going to come back to you for more on that, even as we report on trouble for ISRO. 